Just a couple of days from Thanksgiving now, and millions of Americans are traveling, whether by plane or car, for the holiday. It is supposed to get uh, busy on the roads today and then an MSP tomorrow. But people are already flying out, hoping to miss the busiest travel times over the next few days. Fox News' Rob Olson is live at MSP for us at this hour. Rob, the TSA, they're expecting record numbers. Yeah, you know, the uh, MSP International set a record back in July, uh, 2.9 million on a date right uh, after the 4th of July. And they expect tomorrow or Sunday are going to rival that or potentially beat it. Now, things are calm here right now, less than five minutes a line. But they say tomorrow morning is going to get really busy. And either tomorrow or Sunday, oh, those are the two days that uh, you're going to want to get here early family in Arizona, so we're flying down to spend Thanksgiving with them. Traveling on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving does have its perks. The midday security lines looked fairly manageable. No, it's not too bad. Which is why some told us they chose this day. Well, for others, it just worked out that way. How did you wind up flying on Tuesday? Cheaper flight, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheaper flights. Tomorrow and Sunday, we are expecting record days again. The TSA is prepared to see the busiest Thanksgiving travel period on record. Nationwide, 18.3 million people between Tuesday and Monday. Wednesday and Sunday being the peak days with both around 3 million people. At MSP, they're expecting close to 50,000 travelers at the main terminal on Wednesday, 16,000 over at Terminal 2. Both of those record numbers locally. An important thing to do is to unpack before you pack. Make sure there's no prohibited items in your baggage that are going to be uh, abandoned or uh, cause a delay for you and everybody else in line. TSA says it is surprising, despite all the clear warnings, that they still find people packing guns in their carry-ons. Even more common, they say, to find knives. And those discoveries become a delay for everybody in line behind them. Anything that stops the flow slows everyone down. One thing that has helped considerably are the numbers now using TSA PreCheck, about half the passengers on any given day at MSP. But Wednesday will be a very big day, and Sunday is expected to be the same, if not busier. Oof, well, we fly back on Sunday, so hopefully it's not, yeah, too, not bad. too bad. I, I misspoke a little bit earlier that 2.9 million record that's nationally not here but again that was set in July and they think they're going to be rivaling that nationwide tomorrow and Sunday and again 50,000 people expected here tomorrow and again rivaling that on Sunday as well so it's going to be busy but again they try to keep things moving in line their goal uh, is 30 minutes or less in the standard line and 10 minutes or less in the uh, pre-check line and they say they've got the staff here that they should be able to meet those goals. Live at MSP International, Robles, Fox Talk. All right, Rob, thank you. And if you are on the roads this holiday season, you'll likely see more patrols there. Law enforcement across the state beefing up its presence with more DWI enforcement. As of today, we are 64 fatalities ahead of where we were this time last year. So far, 418 people have been killed on roads this year. Officials say that is 418 too many. There is no excuse for getting behind the wheel if you are impaired. There are too many options out there today for you to make a safe, smart decision and have a plan to get home safely without putting yourself and everybody else you're sharing the road with in danger because of one fateful, horrific, tragic decision. The extra patrols will be enforced through December. Last year in Minnesota, nearly 27,000 people were arrested for impaired driving offenses.